Let's begin. This is Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your IELTS speaking test. May I have your full name, please? My name is Ashpal Najam. What can I call you? You can call me Ashpal. Can you spell your first name? Yes, I can. It's A as in Ann, S as in Sam, H as in Harry, B as in Bob, E as in Eric, L as in Larry. Thank you. That was very interesting. Where do you come from? I am from Lahore. Do you work or study? I am working currently at a digital marketing agency. What do you like about your work? What do I like about my work? Uh, I have to manage a lot of things. Uh, I'm currently working as a digital uh, social media manager in a digital uh, marketing agency where I have to uh, deal with a lot of fashion brands. So I do enjoy um, uh, managing, making a different kind of videos for them. Mm -hmm. I had to make some interesting stories mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which are interactive and uh, for the PR part that is the best part uh, for the PR I have to uh, do um, I have to uh, coordinate with different influencers and uh, celebrities as well to um, get them um, mm -hmm. to get them on board for the brand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's talk about flowers and plants. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Do you have a favorite flower or plant? Why or why not? I would say uh, for the flower part, I would say lily, white lily. Why? Because it's pleasing. Uh, white is a sign of peace as well. It's soothing. So uh, yes, uh, I would definitely uh, gift my mother or my girlfriend or my fiance or whatever uh, <laughs> white flowers. Right. I don't have a favorite plant, no. <laughs> what kinds of flowers and plants grow near where you live? What kind of uh, roses, I would suppose. Um, People, uh, everyone, even in my garden, we have roses. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. roses it is. Mm -hmm. Is it important to you to have flowers and plants in your home? If yes, why? If no, why not? Yes, uh, I, I believe uh, they are important. Um, uh, they do help in the global warming as well. Plus, it's uh, it's feel of it. It's it's good. Um, it's soothing. It's pleasing when you walk out in, in your garden. When you're walking in your garden and have to, uh, you see different flowers or plants. Uh, you smell them. Uh, and they provide oxygen as well. Plants and for the flowers, uh, they are pleasing to the eye. Thank you. This is the end of the interview section. Now let's begin with the cue card section. Mm -hmm. Here's a question right in front of you. You have one minute to read it. You may take notes if you wish. Okay. Your time for reading the question begins now. Yes, please speak. So uh, I was scrolling through my Facebook a few days earlier and I, I was looking for a track suit. So I came across a brand by the name of London Bridge. Uh, I read the reviews. The reviews about the quality of the product were, was amazing. And um, I had to uh, actually I was looking for a track suit. So yes, I started uh, looking for more reviews and I um, on Facebook. So uh, our, most of the reviews about the track suit about the quality was good. Uh, so I even asked one of my friends. Uh, he bought a track suit from them and uh, he also recommended me to buy it from them. So um, 
I ended up uh, ordering the tracks tracksuit and uh, the uh, service was amazing. As soon as I ordered the tracksuit, uh, I was given a call by the representative and um, they asked me to confirm the order and yes, I did confirm the order. And then uh, within two days, uh, I was uh, uh, the tracksuit was delivered at my home and I tried it and the fitting, the fitting of the product is amazing. Uh, even the quality is amazing as well. So I ended up buying the product by uh, <laughs> reading all the reviews. I often do that uh, when I have to or go to a restaurant or something. I uh, first we uh, go to their Facebook page and uh, um, uh, read the reviews, and then we go to the place, uh, to the restaurant, and uh, try the food by itself. Well, thank you so much. This is the end of the cue card section. Now let's begin with the discussion section. I will ask you some questions about online reviews. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Um, what kinds of things do people write online reviews about in your country? What kind? Uh, basically, people do. Uh, mostly in Pakistan, there's a trend of trolling uh, brands. But uh, if you find some good reviews of a specific product, then you should believe it's true, I would say. Because uh, most of the people, a majority of our uh, people are, are, are all are, are all about trolling, all right. But when someone uh, actually tries the product, so they put an honest review over there. Yes, but what kinds of things, sir? What kind of kinds of things? I mean, whether it can be food, it can be clothes. Mostly, I'm in the clothing. Um, uh, line so I do read a lot of uh, reviews about uh, clothes. All right. But it All can right. be about a, about a e tree or uh, the reviews are also about e tree places, about a coffee shop um, or uh, about a cinema as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, which cinema is, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which cinema is good. Uh, which has the better ambience <laughs> in terms of e tree. So why do some people write online reviews? Why? It's a trend, actually, uh, I would say. Uh, we got that from uh, uh, West um, because uh, writing reviews is all about, basically, it's all about uh, guiding others to a treasure. <laughs> If uh, I feel good about, uh, if I went to a restaurant and uh, I did like the food, and then obviously I will write about it uh, on their Facebook page. I will give them a review. It's a trend nowadays. But right. I believe one should one should do that more often uh, because um, people are always looking for reviews. And uh, if you, uh, if, uh, whether it's good or bad, you should obviously you rate it. All right. Do you think that online reviews are good for both shoppers and companies? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. For the shoppers, uh, if uh, I'm the consumer and I have to buy a certain product, obviously uh, I, will uh, I will read a review about the product. And uh, for the um, seller, is uh, selling uh, the product if uh, if uh, a review is good then obviously uh, it will increase its sales and if the review is bad if uh, someone who bought a product from the company obviously uh, uh, they're writing a bad review about them then they obviously they will reach out to that person and uh, ask them what was the problem and they will try to rectify it so it's it's a win-win mm -hmm. situation for both of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about customer service. Are you ready? Yes, I am. What do you think it might be like to work in a customer service job? Uh, I have actually, I have actually worked 
in a customer service uh, call center. Uh, I was uh, customer service is very, uh, I would say, hectic. You need to have a lot of patience to handle uh, angry clients, and there are many, obviously, uh, because uh, I was working on Uber Eats um, for its um, London uh, branch. Uh, we had to deal with a lot of people, angry people. Um, so you need to be very calm. You need to uh, you need to have a very good. Uh, uh, you need to have good listening skills, um, and you have to comprehend, and you have to make them uh, calm down as well. <laughs> so that is also a skill. So customer service, is, is, it's, it can be uh, fun sometimes, but most of the time it's uh, you have to deal with angry clients. Obviously, uh, if someone is angry about something, so that is why and uh, that is why they are going to reach out to the customer service of a certain uh, company. Otherwise, there's no point. All right. So do you agree that customers are more likely to complain nowadays? If I am, uh, yes, uh, I would say uh, if, uh, I mean, why would a customer call in? No one does that. No one does that. If uh, if I'm satisfied with the product, I will never give a call to the customer service people of a, a specific uh, product or company. Okay. If I'm unhappy with the product, uh if i got the wrong size of a shoe maybe then i will definitely call uh call the company to the customer service and i will ask them to get it replaced asap because right. i paid up front for it for the product mm -hmm. how important is it for companies to take all customer complaints seriously it is very important. It is very important. I mean, you uh, for the customer service people, they can judge uh, a customer if the client is uh, is uh, is a fraudulent or not. You can just tell that's uh, that's something you get to know when you start working in a customer service um, place. So it's intuition, I would say, or uh, you get that feeling that if the this person is lying or not. But we do uh, when I was working uh, there, so we had to uh, ask the, our clients to send a proof uh, of the faulty thing they have received. They used to send us different pictures and then we used to verify uh, them by looking at the pictures if the product is faulty or not even in our uh, in my current field in the clothing line if um, sometimes people call in um, aunties do um, question and or um, they do tell us that the dubatta is not uh, the, the dubatta is uh, torn apart so we ask them to send us a picture of the dubatta which is torn apart from the side so the, they do that if they do that uh, then we do um check the picture and we do consult with the uh, uh, with the uh, with the brand and they do let us know if we can replace it or not and we do tell the customer about it with some mistakes mm -hmm. your speaking score is a seven i would have given you a 7.5 but we made some no. mistakes based on the grammar. No, no, no. Yeah. 